What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified of future readings. This is a free general collective reading, taps beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't follow the plot, no one has free will, only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading, reading, uh, free general collective reading, yeah, sorry. Um, Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Every like, subscribe, share, and donation to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the search box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you choose to donate. Um, single mom, two kids, so it really helps. Just saying. Thanks. Okay, so I received another channeling. It's a good one. So um, you plug in and how it resonates. So I heard someone's about to get high honor at work soon. Um, through many shocking series of chain events. Um, so that's a great one. And I shuffled a uh, third time on the deck, triple confirmations, self-reflection. Um, number 17 could be a very significant number on one's life. It could be a possible age of your, your child or somebody you're connected to's child, possible age, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible uh, green card number, number 17, self-reflection. Someone is really looking at the bigger picture now and really seeing the truth of things. Huge changes coming in this work situation. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. I heard um, someone seeing the bigger picture of things and um, they're um, about to make huge changes in this work situation. So. Whoever you are, if this spiritual download resonates for you, uh, you have the power to make changes in this work situation. I'll tell you that. Um, Absolutely. You have power to make changes in the work situation. You're looking at the bigger picture now. So of something that happened in the past, whether it's recent past or long past or both, you're looking at something that occurred in the past in some shape, form or fashion. And you have the power or help or you have some power to help make it change it in some, in some facet. Um, however that resonates for you, um, however that resonates, um, but you have some kind of either input or physical power or some, um, uh, something you have some kind of input or able to make changes in the workplace or something, however that resonates to help make two changes is what I'm saying. So I think you might be like a manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor or something of that nature to help change it, or you could be a board member or something of that nature, but um you are able to help change it um it's something that has occurred in the past whether it's recent past or long past or both but you're looking back at these situation or situations you're looking back on maybe um your group your team your workplace dynamic um policies procedures something you're looking back on something and um it sounds like you're about to make changes to it is what it sounds like so Self-reflection energy. This is Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo or dealing with a Virgo. Um, you don't have to be, but you could be. It's definite Virgo energy. Um, if you're not um, a Virgo, you could be taking on Virgo energy, um, possibly. If you are a Virgo or dealing with Virgo, they can have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, maintain their Jupiter, or just taking on the Virgo energy. But definite self-reflection energy on here um, in this. Um, but this is a good one. So someone's about to get high honor. So it could be you about to get high honor making these uh, changes, or you could be giving somebody high honor uh, for something that has occurred in the past, um, recent past or long past or what have you. Um, however, that applies in your life, or it could be both. Maybe you're going to get high honor for making these changes because whoever this spiritual download is for, you're about to make changes. You are going to be the change maker here, the game changer, the ball roller. Um, but somebody's about to get high honor in this. So it could be you about to get high honor, or you could be giving somebody high honor or several people high honor. And then maybe you get high honor. It, um, you have to plug it in how it resonates, but you're definitely looking back at something that happened. So you definitely are whoever you are, um, whoever you are. Spirit messages you have reflected. Realization, boundaries reversed. 
Number three and 12 could be very significant numbers in one's life. It could be possible ages of children of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social number. Three and 12. Realization. Now, this is wake up call energy. Someone is getting huge wake up calls on someone's disrespect of someone's privacy in the past. When this person did not deserve it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard someone's getting huge disrespect on um, huge wake up calls on someone's disrespect of someone's privacy in the past when they did not deserve it. For some, it was some someone that stole someone's password for sabotage. For some, it was hidden camera energy in someone's private setting. Oh my gosh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so for some, it was someone that stole someone's password in a workplace situation for sabotage. And for some, it was um, someone that placed a hidden camera in someone's private setting. So that's like Secret 7S type energy. Um, I didn't hear Secret 7 in here, but it reminds me of Secret 7S type energy. But you plug it in how it resonates, but huge wake-up calls here. Um, either about the password being stolen for sabotage, or, um, now that this is in a workplace situation. So someone either gained someone's trust or manipulated the situation to gain someone's password to strictly to sabotage them. So they were competing with them secretly in a workplace situation, and I'm sure they finagled the situation. I'm sure they didn't say, hey, can I have your password so I can destroy your career? I'm sure they didn't say that. I'm sure they went about it a much different way so they could sneakily get this password to sabotage them in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and some, it was uh, regarding hidden camera energy in a home. In a, well, I didn't hear a home. I heard a private setting. Um, but I heard the person didn't deserve it. So both of these situations, it sounds like the person didn't deserve it. Um, but the sabotage attempt, of course, they didn't. Well, both situations, they didn't deserve it, both. Um, but whoever you are, you're getting a huge wake-up call that it shouldn't have never occurred. And that could be the boundaries reversed to um, sabotage energy in a workplace situation and uh, by stealing somebody's password. And um, which is the lowest of the low, that's slime on a shoe energy. That is slime on a shoe energy. And I'm serious about that. Um, and some, it is um, the hidden camera in a private setting. So disrespect energy here. Disres I mean, not you, not you. You're having a wake-up call about the disrespect. But whoever you're having a wake-up call about the disrespect about, they violated boundaries. They violated somebody's workplace boundaries through manipulation, sneaky tactics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And somebody violated somebody's private boundaries. And I heard they didn't, even, they didn't, they didn't deserve it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, this is strong. And someone's getting a huge, huge wake-up call on someone's drug use. Huge. Uncontrolled drug use. Okay, and you plug it in how it resonates. And someone's getting a huge, huge wake-up call on someone's drug use. Uncontrolled drug use. So a lot of wake-up call energy in here, um, some, somebody's uncontrolled drug use. Now, whatever the drug use is, um, I'm feeling narcotic opioid um, drug use, whether it's abuse of pres prescription medication or street side, but I, and I didn't hear any of that. That's just what I'm feeling, some kind of opioid narcotic S type energy, whether it's street side, or stealing it from work because we got one of those readings in here about that earlier or not um but some kind of uncontrolled drug use and i've been pulling in a lot of drug use lately a lot a lot a drug dealer of a city drug use in workplaces drug use drug use drug use drug use i mean all over the place but 
you plug it in how it resonates. But um, wake up call energy. Sabotage of somebody's password in the past strictly to sabotage them in a workplace situation. Secretly competing with them, basically. Uh, wanting to bring them down um, in a terrible way. Um, bound, violating boundaries and privacy of somebody's private setting when they did not deserve it. And somebody's uncontrolled chronic drug use. Um, so wake up call energy there. And um, no boundaries as far as sabotaging, going so far as to sabotage somebody in a workplace situation through gaining their password in some sneaky manipulative fashion, um, violating somebody's private space with a hidden camera, and somebody's uncontrolled chronic drug use. Um, no boundaries there. There's no boundaries with any of these situations, it sounds like. Uh, because somebody that has uncontrolled chronic drug use, they manipulate. They manipulate to get what they want. Um, they don't set boundaries with themselves, obviously, when they're uncontrolled drug use. Um, they don't set boundaries with their body, themselves, or other people. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay. I didn't. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so much. And everybody made wonderful choices. And namaste.